Hey, this is Ray Horn, your favorite Python developer, doing some more Django. We're going to dig in and build a web service. We're going to find some existing code that we had worked on prior. And the first thing we need is we need a URL. And it's going to look something like this, but not exactly. So let's just see where we might go with this. Let's call this foo. for lack of a better place to put it. And we are going to want some views. Create a directory. Yeah, let's just copy that. Let's just grab an existing thing. And slap it in. See what that gets us. Some of this I'm not going to need right now, so I'm going to pull it out. Like all of that. All right. Okay. Well, let's just see. Don't care about that. Don't really care about that. Yep. All right. Okay, let's see. We do have some web services here, but I don't want to use them. So let us just begin by carving some of this stuff up. Yeah, all right.
Some of this came from another uh, framework I was working on, so not a big deal. We're just going to carve it up a little bit. Yeah, it's actually closer to what I want. So, um, get rid of this. Yeah, the only thing I want right now is just a web service. We will begin with that. Oh, actually, we've got one. Easy peasy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Don't need forms, got a default, don't care about admin. Don't really have any models. All right. We have a default. URLs, views, default, import, rest, foo. And then we need to convert this into something we can deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from a framework I worked on some time ago. Yeah, all right, no problem. Let's just see what that gets us. Give it a launch. See if we have any exceptions. And we do, so we are going to uh, remove that. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, yeah, we're missing a Python path. No problem.
All right, let's try that again. Looking a little better. Obviously this came from something else I don't really care about right now. Um, oh yeah, I don't care about this. I can just uh, get rid of a lot of this stuff. Good thing about Python is it's very forgiving. Makes for pretty easy code reuse. Just keep what you want, take out what you don't. Get rid of exceptions. I guess I do need simple JSON, huh? All right. There we go. Resolve that. Um, mm -hmm. Install the app, so. Well, let's see what Mr. Google says about Django installed apps. All right, I forgot something. Okay, oh, yeah. We forgot to mention our views. Yep. Righto, Mr. Django, thank you for that. Settings. Because we have a directory called views treats it like an app, which is what we want. It's a little plug-in app called Views. You can name it anything you want. And now it is not liking this one little bit because Source demo site, demo site. Python path.
Which I think I can call a demo so of use and get away with it. Still doesn't, oh, it doesn't like sight. Site doesn't clear an explicit app label on it does. What is your problem? Hmm. Site maps. Hmm. Well, let's just take a look, see. Mm, yeah, we don't have site maps. Hmm. I don't think that's the issue. Oh, sites, contrib sites. Oh, yeah. Which we don't have any of these. Well, at least we got past that other problem, and now we're just cruising on through. Import settings. Yeah, well, don't care about that. And obviously, I cross-pollinated a little bit incorrectly, so let's pull that in. All right, let's try that. Now just res we're resolving some Python path issues. Not a big deal. Right.
Okay, oh yeah. Uh, get rid of this. That's gonna be a problem. Don't care about that anymore. All right, let's see what we got here. As promised, I have uh, Firefox. But what I need now is Firebug. And why is that not uh, an add-on? All right, let's see what we got with that. Maximize. Go to our little website, page not found, because we don't have demo site uh, URLs. Oh, it doesn't have it doesn't have a home page anymore. Yeah, let's just use that one. All right, let's go back to that. Might not be correct yet, but we're gonna keep working on it until we get it right. Okay, it takes at least five arguments, one given. What are the arguments? Uh, comes from here. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what we have with this. Put a breakpoint. Restart. And here we are. Right on. There is our web service. It doesn't do anything right now. So let's just let it run. Unexpected mime uh, type of uh, mime type. All right. Because what HTTP response gets now is a little different. Bippity boppy, bippity boppy. I think it's content type.
content type. All right, so there we go. We have a web service that produces an error. Yeah, when it's doing a convert to JSON. Can M for name simple Jason. All right. Oh, I see. It used to be built into Django, and now it is not really. All right, I think I've resolved that. Now let's try that again. Much better. All right, so we have a web service. It is responding to a GET request. And that's the end of this video. Just wanted to show how easily you can put together a web service in, J in, uh, in Django. This is a uh, JSON MIME type. So we'll return JSON data. In the next video, we will dig deeper. But for now, that's it. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do so. This channel needs the support. If you want to see more, be sure to support the channel. We'll talk to you later.